Today we're going to talk about breast reconstruction. This video is meant to help you prepare for that first consultation with your plastic surgeon to discuss your different options. So Valerie, what are the different options for breast reconstruction? Yes, um, so breast reconstruction is divided into two big categories. The first category, which is probably the most uh, popular one among women, is to have breast reconstruction with breast implants. And then the second option is breast reconstruction using your own tissue. We call this autologous breast reconstruction. Okay, so let's say a patient wants to have a reconstruction with breast implants. Mm -hmm. Now, take me th through the process. So um, here again in this category, there are two ways of doing implant-based breast reconstruction. The first one, which I think is probably the most common one, is to do it in two stages. So in the first stage, we place what we call a tissue expander, which is a temporary breast implant to um, essentially hold the skin. And then if the, if the woman would like to have a larger breast size, then you can also stretch the skin with this temporary device. And then at a second surgery, a few months later, then the, the temporary tissue expander is removed and replaced with a permanent breast implant. Okay. The second option uh, for breast reconstruction with implants is what we call direct to implant breast reconstruction. Some other uh, people will also call it single stage, but I think the most common uh, terminology is direct to implant. And what happens in this type of breast reconstruction is that your plastic surgeon is able to put the permanent, so the final breast implant, right away at the time of the mastectomy. Okay. Now, let's say I'm scared or for whatever reason, I don't want to have a breast implant. Mm -hmm. What are my options? Um, so the, the other alternative, if you do want to have breast reconstruction, but for whatever reason you don't want to have breast implant, then we go with the autologous breast reconstruction using your own tissue. Uh, and I would say in this category, the most uh, popular um, surgical procedures are using the tissue from the lower abdomen. So um, people probably have heard of tram flap, deep flap, so those types of procedures. Okay, so when exactly can you have reconstruction? So breast reconstruction can be done at two different times, either at the time of the mastectomy, we call this immediate breast reconstruction, or it can also be done at a later time if, let's say, the, the woman prefers to or is unable to make her decision about breast reconstruction right away, she could go on to have her mastectomy and then at a later time come back to have breast reconstruction and we call this delayed breast reconstruction. Okay, and is there an ideal candidate for this? Well, yes, of course. <laughs> the ideal candidate for breast reconstruction is a healthy female who um, ha maintains a healthy body mass index or BMI and is also a non-smoker. Yeah, that's really important, right? Definitely, yeah. Um, and can we touch on whether it's insured or not. Like, how does that work? So for insurance coverage? Yes, exactly. Yeah. This will vary depending on the country where you live. So for example, I work in the United States. So there is a federal law that covers breast reconstruction, that says that uh, insurance companies must cover breast reconstruction in women who have a mastectomy. Um, and uh, for example, also in Canada where I did my training, I know that breast reconstruction is also covered uh, through Medicare. Yeah. And so um, I know a lot of women tend to think that because it's done by plastic surgeon, it's considered as cosmetic surgery, but it's not. Breast reconstruction is a right and every, every woman who is interested has the right to have breast reconstruction. Women should know in Canada also, that breast cancer, well, breast reconstruction after breast disease is actually covered mm -hmm. by the uh, mm -hmm. by Medicare or the, and the universal insurance. And you know, same thing in the U.S. actually, even though it's federal law since 1998, and you would assume that people know, a lot of people wonder if it is covered, and and so it's it's important to be really informed about this. Yeah. And actually, in the U.S. also, um, there is now a federal law that mandates that 
women have uh, or should be informed about breast reconstruction or educated about breast reconstruction when they will undergo a mastectomy. So at least to begin the conversation, yeah. because otherwise you may not know what's available to you. Exactly. So that was that kind of leads to my last question. Can women choose not to have a breast reconstruction? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, re breast reconstruction is really a personal decision, yeah. right? Um, and so women could choose to not have breast reconstruction at all and go flat uh, with a flat chest or another option uh, that some of my patients actually also like is to wear an, what we call an external prosthesis. So you wear an insert in your bra uh, that gives you a breast shape and then it gives you also the freedom of you know, having breasts sometimes and not having breasts at other times when it's convenient to you. Yeah, I think it's uh, I think it's really important. Um, I I have sometimes have patients who hesitate to whether they want a breast reconstruction mm -hmm. or not, or they may just be overwhelmed. You know, they were By just diagnosed, diagnosed yes. and then they're not. Sh you know, it's just too much yeah. for them to handle right now. But I think that. As you said, the important thing is to have the conversation and to know that it is one of the, your options Definitely. before you do anything. Mm -hmm. And I often tell my patients who are, you know, some of my patients will say, I do not want to have any reconstruction or I don't want to have it now. I just want to tackle one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. And that is perfectly fine. Uh, but for those who are hesitant, who really want it, I will always tell them to go and have the talk with the plastic surgeon Absolutely. because that may sway the decision one way or the other. So it's really, really important that you are informed. Then whatever decision you take is, you know, your own. And I think what you just uh, mentioned is extremely important because you are the one. So you are a breast surgeon. Yeah. You are the one who first has access to these women who require a mastectomy for whatever reason. And I don't have. So you need to start that conversation. So you or all the all the breast oncologic surgeons so that the patients are then referred to us plastic surgeons who do breast reconstruction. Yeah. I think and I think if your surgeon doesn't talk about it with you or offer you that option, you should ask to have that option or to Definitely. have the option to consult Definitely. someone. Yeah. Uh, because I know that in certain areas or certain surgeons and they and they've done studies on that that if the surgeon who sees you first and um, suggests a mastectomy doesn't offer you that option, then the percentage of women who have reconstruction is a it's lot lower. Less. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's important for you to be informed. Great. All right. So I think this is it for today. We're gonna wrap it up. Wrap it up right now and then join us for our next video next week. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye.